Hello and welcome to this Mithril Money Excel library slot where we're going to be doing a rights issue calculator for basic securities. It's going to be fairly simplistic but it should give you a basic idea for uh, anything you might want to do in the future. So let's bring up a new Excel workbook. I'll make this bigger by um, using control down with a scrolling the mouse wheel and I think we've probably, if we just get to about there, I think that's probably uh, good enough visibility. So we need a few fields we need to fill in so we need to know the new shares we're going to be getting from the right issue, the old shares we have to have in order to uh, to work out how many new ones we can buy, the current shares held that we have, the current share price, and um, what's called the subscription share price which is often a cheap price to encourage current shareholders to uh, to buy the new shares. Now I do need to, uh, I'm going to mark these fields in yellow because these are going to be entry fields so it's going to be what I'm going to call a one for five offer. What that means is if you hold old five old shares you, you'll be allowed to buy one new share at the cheap subscription price. So how many shares do I currently have? Well I currently have 4,000. Uh, what's the current price? It could be anything but let's say it's 175 and usually the subscription price will generally be um, slightly cheaper to encourage current shareholders to get involved with this and not sack the board for putting them through this, uh, you know, because it's not a great thing as it being a shareholder being asked to put more money into a company uh, at any time. So that's our current um, situation. Now what we'd like to do is work out how many rights we're going to have as a current shareholder. Now if I have 4,000 current shares and it's a, f a one for five offer, so if I have four, five shares then I get offered one, we can quite easily work out what that's going to be. Although there are a few wrinkles here that we just need to be careful of. So first of all what we could do is we could say that this is equal to the number of shares I hold divided by the old shares. Okay and that looks fairly reasonable, 800. Now I'll colour that in green because I like to have things you know in a separate colour uh, different from my uh, my input colours. But what if I change that to 2? Hmm, that should go to 1600 so that calculation wasn't quite right. So what I need to do then is I need to put that around brackets and I need to multiply that by the number of new shares. So now I do get 1600 which is nice but usually it will be a you know 1 for 5 offer. Of course in the US that would be a 6 for 5 offer but uh, Let's not worry too much about that because Hong Kong and Singapore have one for fives as well. Okay, so that's the number of shares I get to buy. But let's look at this then. Um, if I have four shares, it says 0 0.8. So if I'm holding four and it's a, it's a one for five offer, can I buy 0 0.8 shares? Of course I can't. So I'm going to have to wrap this in yet another little Excel function here. So I'm going to have to wrap this in a thing called round down. Now there's two D's in the middle of round down which can catch you out but uh, don't worry about that too much. So put two D's in the middle of round down. I want to go to zero decimal places because you can only buy discrete shares, you can't buy parts of shares, it's got to be um, one share or two shares not 1.2 shares. So hopefully this will work. There we go. So I have no rights because with four shares and a one for five offer I don't get anything. As soon as I get to five bang I get one there which is nice. Same thing would work at 4,000. If I have 4,004 I shouldn't get any more rights but if I have 4,005 I should get one more right which I do. So let's keep it nice and easy for now. Now the next thing I need to work out is I need to work out a thing called the theoretical X rights price. You might want to go to our Securities Investments 101 lectures to, uh, to go into a more detailed explanation of what this is. But essentially, um, if we have five shares with this much capital and we have one share with this much capital, this lower price here is going to dilute the amount of share capital within the company. So um, there will be a slightly lower price theoretically that the market will determine the shares to be after we've been through this because of this dilution. Now if this was 175 there'd be no problem but it's lower to encourage the current shareholders to buy new shares. 
Now, I could put the entire calculation on this single line, but it would be a, a bit of a messy calculation. So uh, with your spreadsheet, you might want to try and make them a bit nicer and easier to, to kind of read for the human eye. So let's do that now. Let's let's build a little you know visible calculation here. So we're going to say, how many shares do I currently have? I currently have 4,000 shares, so that's nice. So what's the um, what's the share capital of that worth? Well, we're going to multiply that by the current share price. So the current share price is here. There we go. Let's put this nice and neat in the middle there. And that, what's that going to equal? It's literally going to be an equal symbol. Um, you can put that in the middle just to make it look nice. That's going to equal that times that. So that's the amount of current share capital which I currently have uh, for my um, particular uh, share stock of 4,000. Okay, now I'm going to be allowed to buy 800. So let's just put that there, equals that. And let's just copy these two fields down. Copy this field down. And this is going to be equal to the subscription price of $1.50. And this, is, this should be the same calculation. There we are. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add all these uh, add these two columns together. So this is going to be equal, this is going to be the sum of the total number of shares I would have in my new portfolio would be 4800 and the total amount of share capital that, that would represent would be um, the sum of these two here. So that would be uh, 8,200. That will give me my theoretical X rights price because if, if this is the amount of share capital and this would be the new amount of shares, you know, my 4,000 originals plus my 800 new ones, um, that's what those shares were worth. That's how much extra I spent. Then uh, it should be the theoretical X rights price, this amount of money divided by this many shares. So let's just put that in there now. Okay, so that's going to be that divided by that. And that gives us about 171. Now we're starting to get a bit out of hand now with the formatting of these numbers. So, so let's do a bit of formatting jiggery pokery. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to format these numbers as, uh, as currency. So let's just do that. Uh, let's not use a currency symbol because I don't know where you are in the world. So there we go, that's super trooper. Uh, let's just uh, control Y that for everywhere else where there's some money and there's some money there as well isn't there so let's just uh, control y that um we'd like to have commas in here as well it starts to get a bit difficult looking at numbers when we have um lots of uh, lots of zeros and so on so let's um let's put some commas in here for these so number don't need decimal places for shares because you, you can't buy 0.5 of the share but we do want the comma, so let's put the comma in there, and then we'll control Y that wherever there's any kind of a number of shares. There we go. That looks better. Okay. Oh, this is a calculated figure as well. So let's uh, let's just uh, make that green too. Now um, you'll notice there's a subtle difference here between this figure and this figure. The theoretical X rights price, which is what the average share should be worth after the operation, is 21 pence or cents more than the subscription price, which the um, current shareholder would be able to buy their new shares at, at this kind of low price. Now, if the current shareholder bought a share at one. $1.50 and then immediately sold it on the market at the theoretical price of 171 they'd make a 21 cent profit. Now we need to show that and it's in a thing called nil paid price. So if you turn down your rights you will often be just sent this amount of money because you know or you can buy the shares and sell them yourself um, to get the 21 cents. You might get a better price remember it's a theoretical X rights price. The market will determine the real price of the shares after this operation has all taken place. But theoretically, you could make a profit of that, take away that, and that's 21 uh, cents. So you could buy the share at this and then sell it immediately after the uh, corporate action for that, and that would net you 21. Again, that's going to be a green field. Let's let's put a bit of uh, formatting down here as well. This is a bit unneat, isn't it, as well? So let's let's just put a bit of an outline in here. Uh, border, 
and let's just put that nice outline in there so that we can see what's going on. Now we haven't covered absolutely everything yet. But there's a few more things we need to figure out. The first thing is you've got a choice. Okay, I've got 4,000 shares. I decide to buy the full 800. How much is it going to cost me? Well, we can see that here kind of informally, but let's let's do it formally as well. So let's put a nice field up here. So if I buy the rights, how much is that going to cost me? Well, it's going to be the same as the rights I can buy multiplied by the subscription price. Uh, which is 1200 which we which we've already I've seen sneakily in there okay so i'm going to use painter here to um get hold of this format so let's go on a field which has money in it go to painter and then just click on that and paint in that uh, monetary format and then make it green uh the next thing what i could do is i could sell all of my rights so what I could do is I'm I'm offered 800 and I say to the company no can you uh, can you deal with them on my behalf and what they do is they theoretically charge you 150 and sell them for 171 and then give you 21 cents per share or you can do it yourself you might get a better price you might do it a bit quicker than they're going to do it you won't have as high costs as they might charge you for doing that operation so you buy your 800 shares for uh, 150 you sell them immediately after the corporate action 171 you make 21 cents a share how much is that going to be well it's the number of rights multiplied by the um, nil paid price which gives you uh, that as well. So let's, let's do our painter trick again. So there's painter. There we go. So you could make $166.67. Now there is one other thing that you could do. You can do a thing called splitting rights. And what you do here is you sell some of your rights and build up a little pot of money. And then you take your pot of money and you buy a few shares so that you don't get too diluted. Notice this person is going to be diluted. Imagine if they owned all the shares in the company, um, they would own 4,000 and own 100% of the shares. When the company is done and creates an extra 800 shares, they could sell them to somebody else. And then there would be 4,800 new share, uh, shares in total, which would mean the first person would be diluted. Now, if you don't want to be diluted at all, you need to buy them all. But let's say you haven't got any money, uh, but you want to be diluted as little as possible without losing any money. You split your rights. So you sell some of your 800 rights and you buy some of your 800 rights and you should just end up with a perfect balance between or as perfect as you can get it between of the two. Usually you want to have a slight amount of money left over in your pocket. You don't want to be out of pocket because uh, you know, nice to get a check in the post and have to send a check in the post. So, how many shares to get this perfect balance do you need to sell? Well, there is fortunately a nice equation that you can use to do this. So basically, it's equal to the number of rights you have multiplied by the subscription price. And then I need to put some brackets around that. And then I need to divide that by the um, the theoretical X rights price. Okay, and that should say 702.439, super. Again, you'll notice a problem here. You can't buy 0.439 of a share. It's impossible. It's either 702 shares or 703 shares. Now you typically want to be slightly in pocket when you do this. What you need to do is you need to round this figure up. So again, we could use an Excel command for that basically round up reminds me of the roundup gang in the toy story um, it's zero digits because again it's one or two shares it's not 1.3 shares and that gives us 703 super now how many shares do you buy stop yourself being diluted now this is going to be the number of rights you had take away the number of rights you've just calculated that gives you 97 now what we can do is we can uh, again I'll just color those in um, I'll just color those in green super um, what you can do is work out a cash price for how many um, how much money you're going to raise here just just as a sanity check to make sure these two sums are very very close to each other so that's going to be equal to the number of rights you sell multiplied by the profit that you're going to make from each of those 146.458 um, 
and you're going to buy some at the subscription price. Now this sum should be ever so slightly under or exactly the same. It's going to be equal to 97 multiplied by the subscription price, which is just ever so slightly under. Let's just check the difference is not the subscription price. So take away one from the other. So um, that take away that. Super. So that's 95 cents. So we, we've got a sanity test there saying we can't quite afford to buy one more share. You might just want to call this cash, call this profit here. Okay, now these are again, these are a bit higgledy piggledy, aren't they? So let's uh, let's find <clears throat> our painter friend. Let's double click painter this time and then turn painter off and give these some different colors too. So let's uh, what colors can we have here? Let's go for blue for that one and uh, a nice. Ooh, orange profit, I think. Okay, so that is our rights issue calculator. I think we've covered all the cases there. Um, have a play around with that. Um, if it looks neat, you might want to give it give it a spin. And um, we'll see you next time at Mithril Money.